Good evening. We are for the first time hearing from the three police officers involved in a controversial and deadly police shooting in Mississauga almost two years ago. Now, both the SIU and Internal Affairs did an investigation on those officers, cleared them of any wrongdoing, but those reports have never been made public. Here at Brampton Courthouse today, the three gave contradictory testimony about just what happened the night that they fired off 19 rounds in a townhouse complex. This is Constable Jennifer White. Just seven months on the job, she and these two officers, Constables Brendan Derry and Adam Paymont, responded to this Mississauga complex on March 20th, 2015, some seven hours after a 911 call about death threats against a neighbor. If I don't get my roots, I will kill you. I will kill your mother. You can tell the police. You can call the police. The threats were videotaped on cell phone. You can hear Mark Akemba Bowekwa and his mom Boketsu screaming about returning their throne and promising a bloodbath. I will kill you tomorrow, you and your kids, if I don't get my throne back. The three officers were shown that video before they went to arrest the mother and son. The defense asks Constable Derry, are you saying after watching that video at no time did potential mental health issues cross your mind? You didn't think these people are crazy? He responds, no, I'm thinking these people really don't like their neighbors. The officers gave contradictory testimony about what happened when they tried to make the arrest. Constable Paymont says he lunged towards Bowekwa to make an arrest in the doorway of the house after the 22-year-old appeared aggressive, refused to take his hands out of his pocket and refused to come out of the house. But Constable Derry says the officers tried to make the arrest outside the house. And Constable White says the 22-year-old lunged first at the officers in the doorway. They all testified that the mother attacked with a saucepan while they were on the ground out front in a scuffle with her son. Constable Derry says Ms. Bowekwa comes out waving a kitchen pot over her head and swings it down on Constable White's head. I saw an imminent threat. I tried to disarm Ms. Bowekwa of the pot. She is screaming that she will kill me, that we are evil and devils. The officer's testimony differs again when they describe just how Mark Bowekwa came at them with a knife. Constable Paymont says Bowekwa was running towards Constable Derry with a knife in his hand. Constable Derry says Bowekwa was running at him with a knife clenched in his hands and pumping his arms. He says the blade was pointing up towards his thumb. Constable White says Bowekwa was running at the officer at full speed, waving the knife above his head with the blade pointing out from his pinky. The officers fired 19 bullets at the young man, but eight missed their target. Constable Derry testified, I felt something strike me. It was extremely painful, a burning, pounding sensation. I knew I had been shot. White inadvertently shot me in the back. White testified in court, I was shooting at Bowekwa. I could see him being hit by bullets. I didn't see Constable Derry until he was in the line of fire. I hit him in the back. This woman, standing in her kitchen, was also hit by a stray bullet, which lodged into her back. She is now suing the three officers, the chief, and the police force for $21 million. The officer's testimony was heard here at the trial of Buketso Bowekwa. She's been in custody on charges of conspiring to murder her neighbor and assaulting police ever since the incident that took her son's life almost two years ago. As for the impact that this has had on the officers involved that night, Constable Paymont, who was stabbed in the leg during the scuffle, is back on active duty. Constable Derry, who was shot in the back but wearing a bulletproof vest and stabbed in the hand, has not returned to work. And Constable White, the one who fired the shot at her at the fellow officer uh, has not as back with Peel police not as an officer but as a civilian.